All right, what is up, bros? Welcome back to another lifting commentary video thing. Yeah. Uh, I think I didn't actually kind of go over uh, the sort of program in a whole uh, last video, so I thought I'd kind of briefly do that now. Um, I've already, I am think I'm on the, the last, I've got like two weeks left of the, um, the sort of the base phase. It's probably the best way to put it. I think for this program, because there's a there's a nine weeks of base phase, and then there's nine weeks for a peak phase, uh, and that's how this program is structured. Um, I think I did already say it's the Bull Master program uh, by Alex Bromley, which is uh, what I'm currently following. And there's four day split, so we have a squat day, main lift, a bench day, which is what we're going over today, a deadlift day, and a overhead press day. So yeah, today we're we'll looking at the bench press day. So last week was a deload week, as I said in the previous video. Uh, so previously, as you can see here, I was doing a 100 kg for four reps. And the order done uh, for last week's. And then so I bumped up. So the way it works is you manually increase the weight for the main lift by a percent for each rep you do over the given rep range. So last week, I think I'm pretty sure I hit 10 reps for 100 kg. So I increased by around 6% uh, for this week's. And for the last set, as you saw in the little thing, uh, I'd only managed to get 7 with this weight. So I'll probably be only going up to 110 kg next week. Uh, as you can see, I was unfortunately lifting without a spotter. I had the safeties on though. Um, but I kind of feel like I lose maybe like a couple of centimeters or an inch. But not an inch, but a couple of centimeters of range. I still get a chest touch, but every now and then I'll have a little bit of a... As you can see there, where I hit the uh, hit the safeties. So it kind of throws me off. But yeah, it's it's okay. I do prefer to do it without the safeties. have a spot there instead, so I can get the full range of motion. But I think it's okay. So we'll go to the AMRAP set. Because the last rep was kind of dodgy for that one. Alright, so this is the M rep set. Like I said, this is about 7. And as you can see with that one, I just managed to get that weight up. On this last rep here. It was a, it was a bit of a struggle. Got it up. Kind of struggled to re-rack. So I wasn't sure whether to count that rep or not. But I got the weight up. And then we have an overhead press variation. Which is just the tempo overhead press. So I've kind of, I'm doing it slow on the way down and then just sort of regular press on the way up. Uh, I'm choosing to do these seated as opposed to doing them standing just to kind of reduce any, you know, kind of lower back fatigue because I do struggle a little bit with uh, sort of lower back pain in the right, lower right hand side of my back. Uh, I'm not sure what that is necessarily from. It's been fine for a little while, but I just like to reduce any lower back loading as much as I can really. But yeah, there's just four sets of these. That kind of hit the pins there. Four sets of these. Uh, what was it? I think it was 45 kg. I think I was doing. If I remember rightly. It was on the screen a second ago. And then we've got some accessory stuff afterward, just for you know some regular bodybuilding kind of stuff. Got some extensions. All sorts. Five sets. I think the weight's, weight's moving up a little bit. I was doing 13.7 last week, as you can see here. Doing 14.3 over less less reps. It's kind of tricky to get a good angle here. Can't really see the tricep in action. But hey, hey. And then we just got the other side as well. And after that, we have some, what was it? I think, bicep curls from Brightly. Same sort of setup. Five sets. I'll probably go up to, what is it, 12.5 next week, or the last week of the base phase, just so I'm hitting, so I'll, so I'll get probably get 10 again next week, and then not really uh, doing the overloading, progressive overload stuff, if I'm just doing the same weight again, I'll probably go to 12.5, and hope that I'll get 5 sets, or maybe 8 reps. And after that, we got some rear doubt flies, if I can get to them. There they are. Uh, so previously I've been doing these sort of bent over with my chest on the top part of the bench. Uh, so sort of stood up. 
I've recently been trying to do them, as you can see here. So that was a bit funky. Interesting sort of setup. Um, but they just feel a bit more comfortable to do. Just to sort of chill while doing them. But I think I'll throw it this way. Uh, I do actually really like doing the dumbbell rear delt flies. Uh, I tried them on the machine, the, re the reverse pec deck. I did, uh, I'm not sure it wasn't going heavy enough, but I never felt a lot of activation in the rear delts as opposed to doing them this way. But yeah, that is going to wrap up for that session. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.